news. I'm going to uh, put the exhaust on. And I've done some other things which I think are just going to be kind of cool. Um, I used the, uh, the app on the Ecutech app with the uh, performance analyzer. It's the best I got right now. And uh, I just did uh, four runs back to back, zero to 60, zero to 30. And I've got those saved in my phone. And so I'm going to uh, put this exhaust on, hopefully. Hopefully I can get uh, the nuts off the exhaust. I've prepared a little bit more. And I went and got some, uh, probably don't need to kneel down, but blaster, um, some penetrating bolt blaster lubricant that's going to creep into the bolts and loosen them up. So I got that, and I'm going to take that off, and yeah, and I got the performance analyzer data. I'm going to put the aftermarket exhaust on, and then uh, go do them again. It's um, 80, 82, 83 degrees. It's a lot warmer today, and I don't know what the humidity is, but uh, let me see what else. Uh, 83 degrees. I took a snapshot of after after the, these were back to back to back to back runs. So um, you know there's probably some a uh, little bit of heat soak in there. But yeah, and then I'm gonna take this exhaust off and put it side by side uh, with the uh, aftermarket exhaust, and I'm gonna look at the pipe dimensions and, and how much more restrictive this stock exhaust is. I haven't seen that online. I'm not the go-to guy for watching every YouTube video ever made, but uh, in my I'm on there a lot for watching videos. I just haven't seen side-by-side uh, -side stock and aftermarket exhaust to see the difference in, in the uh, less restrictions and the pipe diameter. Because I think from being under my car, my stock exhaust is just it's crazy small. I mean, it's, is it two inches? Is it 1.75 near the back? It's just ridiculous. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, wrap all this up and put it in a video and hopefully everyone enjoys it. I'm really excited now, now that I'm out here and I've got my car up uh, on the front and I'll show you real quick. Let me detach my camera. This is just how I'm gonna do it. Not the best way. I got my car up on just my, my work stands right there. It just gets the front up a little bit higher so I have a little bit more room under there and then I'm going to jack up the back the video is going to be dark in here because it's such a bright light up in the front but this is what i got i'm going to i want to do most of it as much as i can in my garage let's put this up <laughs> Save money where you can. Still got a little tension on the jack. It's not totally off, but uh, and this thing slowly creeps up. So uh, while well, it's sitting there under under pressure, so I'm gonna just put this right here. Just it's got a rubber a rubber piece, but as you'll see, this rises up slowly, and uh, this protect that. Got to protect the car's paint.
I mean, it is what it is. My plan of attack is to take the center brace off, unhook the exhaust from the rubber hangers, unhook those rubber hangers and up, unhook those rubber hangers there in the back, and then attack this from the flanges right here, and then just lower this down and take it off in one piece so that I'm not gonna break, have to break those, those bolts loose and those bolts right there uh, in the back where it connects to the muffler. So just take that out, it's gonna cool down and I'm gonna spray that lubricant on the nut, the nuts there. And then I, hopefully I can just take this off and it's easy peasy. Of course the freaking jack is right there in the way. All oh, these are easy. Oh yeah, with this, I'd probably say those are like 35 pounds on there. Touch that hot exhaust. Now would it just be awful? I better not jinx myself, but oh well, I don't believe in that shit. But um, take this off and the exhaust doesn't uh, doesn't work or doesn't fit on here so it says all over the place I've double and triple checked it that that exhaust fits it fits the 3.7 motor and the 3.0 all the way down to 14 for the 3.7 so you know with the tune and stuff we're gonna get it all worked out though when I post stuff I'm um, when I put stuff online and I put question marks and things it's what a lot of people do um, it's not that I don't have this shit figured out. I pretty much do. I mean, I'm not the go-to know-everything uh, Mr. Know-it-all, um, but I try to educate myself and, and be up on things. All right, so there's the brace gone. And then both of these freaking impact guns that are... Um, Makita and good name, snap on. They won't, they, I could be using them wrong. I mean, you hook them up to the compressor, turn your compressor up and uh, fire away. And it's uh, lefty loosey, righty tighty, taking it off to the left and it just won't break the bolts loose. So, so F that freaking frustrating but um, then I just took my half inch uh, craftsman ratchet with a I had to just go buy some more sockets because you can never have you know you have 200 sockets and you need one more that you don't have so this is a semi deep 14 millimeter half inch um, and I put it on this bolt and tugged away and it broke loose really I mean with the spray with the you know the spray the loose and the spray that might have helped a whole lot so that one I took off, you know, I didn't have high expectations. I was like, oh, what am I gonna do when I put this on here? And it, it, it broke loose pretty easy. I don't know what, what I'm, you know, user error with the uh, impact gun. I don't know, but we'll, here, this one I haven't broken loose, so. There you go. So all is not lost. I'm happy. And I'm just, everything will come out perfect now if the exhaust just bolts up and fits in. Saves spending probably $200 for the uh, muffler shop to put on this exhaust. I mean, that's way overpriced. I mean, I'd maybe pay $50, but you know, in these, this day and age, everybody, you know, and you know, I can't blame them. I mean, I deserve quite a bit of money when I do my photography. Uh, when people offer me low bids, I'm like, come on, dude, give me a break. <laughs> I don't work for free. And so I've got my, my standards too. So, you know, when the shoe's on the other foot, you know, 
I guess you have to accept that. You know, they don't they don't work. You know, want to work for low wages either. So it is what it is. But if you can do it yourself, I mean, you get the gratification of doing it yourself and saving your money and a learning experience. 82 degrees out, sunny like California outside, and two hours later. It got rain and my car is half in half out of the garage and then everything's getting wet uh, things could be worse here's what here's my plan got the exhaust up there in the front nothing's holding on all my rubber grommets are off and and instead of trying to pull these rubber grommets out of the uh, out of the support right there I just took the took the screws off Let's see, yeah. So right here, here, and here. I'm gonna do that on the other side. And then I got my exhaust supported by my jack. Um, gonna go lower it in the front, lower it down, and then pull it out. the scrape on the back so let me so maybe it would be better to have two people all right just lowered it down in the back so when it tilts forward up here it has room in the back to to angle up and not hit the hit the paint hopefully okay let's do that again golly all right I'm gonna try to put something down so that I can slide this out the back and not have this slide, this, this, this piece slide across the concrete. I need to get something for the other side and I'm just gonna slide it out the back. I don't have any more carpet pieces. Hopefully that'll, that'll work. like an hour and a half later it is beautiful again outside the sun is out Texas weather is it's shit I hate it but now we can get back to working on the car and everything's kind of dried up good news man look at this this is actually pretty easy so here is the meat and potatoes. We got the stock exhaust next to the high performance 2.5 inch street racing MagnaFlow deluxe stainless steel exhaust. That's all I got. Okay, so um, let's look here. When I saw this, this just threw me. I mean, this just boggled my mind. So we got two pipes coming from the turbos and the engine up front goes into one collector so you got the one collector here that's probably about two and a half right there so even though that is an X pipe and looks like it comes into one it still has the flow of two full two and a half inch pipes so big difference big difference instead of that little that whole bottleneck right there that's that I was like that sucks okay then then it breaks into two and then it comes back to the resignators. So we got resignators here too. And I gotta remove that packing from that one. 
the stop, the, the mod, I mean, the uh, uh, magnet flow exhaust is probably about 65 pounds, 60, 65 pounds, 60 maybe. And the stock exhaust is probably closer to 100 pounds. It's a big ass uh, muffler in the back. But these are where the pipes get little bitty. For comparison purposes. Let's put that up. Whew, sorry. Against the, uh, the can right there. And then put that up against the can right there. So that's smaller than that pipe. And quite a bit bigger than that pipe. So this is what, when I was under the car, I've been against buying these exhausts because the cat back exhausts, because they are, they are really expensive. You know, $1,200, $1,500 is a big chunk of money, you know, for someone just to spend on an exhaust. Um, so I was, I fought it, I fought it forever. And then when I was putting my uh, subframe bushing collars in there, I just kept on seeing how tiny those pipes were. I mean, you can just see the difference between this one and that one. Um, those are, I think I consider those a little bitty. And then this restriction right here into one from anyways, these small, Look at that right there, and then look at that right there. Sorry, I'm going to have to go the other way because of the, the sun coming in. I mean, hopefully it all lines up. Hopefully I make this work. It should. Now I'm not scared or worried or apprehensive about taking an exhaust off. As long as I can get those bolts loose, then we're golden. But then I'm just going to transfer, pull these off now because they'll be easier to remove. Put them on here, bolt them up, put them on here, you know, from there to there. And then bolt them up and slide that in and because this is going to go in pieces. It connects right here apart and then it connects right here in a part. So obviously they do that so you can fit it in a box and ship it, um, you know, realistically. Ship it where it doesn't cost an arm and a leg. But that's it. Even though it's really bright out. Oh, just not a lot of room. Gotta definitely not be a fat person to get under here. <sighs> One thing I want to look at first that I didn't even consider until just right this second. Oh my god, dog it. Is these flanges. I mean these uh the gaskets and see if that's gonna how that's gonna match up with match up with the uh the larger exhaust. Don't want that to be a restriction. Oh yeah, that's plenty good. It's bigger than the hole of the flange there, so there's no restriction. I don't have new ones. I have to go to like Infinity to get these, and Infinity's not super close to my house. So I'm just gonna just gonna use use the old ones and tighten it down and hopefully not have a problem. It, they didn't come, uh, new ones did not come with this exhaust. No uh, install equipment except the big metal, uh, the big, big metal pieces that are going to help seal up the joints, the clamps. Okay, so we're going to put this back on. Hope for the best.
Okay, I, I do need to get a support of some sort. All right, then you just leave this really loose. I'll go ahead and put these flan, the little uh, nuts back on. Somehow cut my finger open. So that side just comes over here and fits on. Let me show. That side fits on there. Now I'm just going to take take these off. And what's weird is one is slightly longer. This side is slightly longer than this one. So that's probably going to have to be something I'm going to have to play with under the bottom to get this to fit together. I slashed my finger open. Okay, real quick, I just took this off, but I, I recorded it and the phone didn't record it. Video is so such a whole different animal. Uh, I'm glad that I'm not into the professional video side of things, though. You know, those guys are really, really skilled in their own right. Okay, so mounted these back on. I just showed that these, what the clamps are, there's six of these, six or eight of them, I don't remember. Um, and here's the clamp, an Accu seal. Let me see if I can get this further away. Um, it's a super heavy duty clamp that's gonna clamp all the uh, segments together. Um, this is a really heavy duty clamp, so no skimping there by MagnaFlow. All right, and then I took these off, like I mentioned. These pieces fit on right here, and there's that metal clamp. These are really nice, and again, to have these come on and move, uh, you get a degree of flexibility on moving it out and then moving them the tips up or down. You know, one up, one down, one up, one down, and that's completely gonna alleviate the problem of having the exhaust tips not positioned correctly because they're fixed on the exhaust system and you can't move the whole exhaust system once it's tightened up. So this is gonna allow me to custom fit these exhaust tips to the rear the rear, uh, you know, section of under the car right there with the balance, the rear balance. Um, and that's going to make that where I can precisely get that exactly right and how I want it to look. So a little bit small straight through uh, muffler. It's going to be really high flow. Probably just comes in here and then and then has a centerpiece and then redirects and then comes has maybe has a baffle, some a couple of D baffles or and then comes straight out. So uh, a lot less restriction than that behemoth. And so I'm gonna get it put on the car next. Look at that. That pipe diameter. Sorry. Versus this pipe diameter. This pipe's about as big as that whole diameter there. see the difference in that pipe hopefully gonna make a big difference a big difference see how they're lined up right there and kind of 
lined up here, maybe just a little bit longer. And that one's longer. So that has to do with these are probably side specific, but there's nothing in the instructions. So um, you just gotta figure out which one's gonna go where to make it all fit together. super light either, don't get me wrong. I mean, it's lighter than that mammoth beast, but it's definitely not lighter. I'm just getting that. my old age. I'm a little slower getting up, I'm a little slower getting down. That's to be expected. Torque to about 43 pounds. Hopefully, that's. I might have to see if that's. I'm going to drop it down to 40. There's 35 now. Just don't want to tighten those up too tight. And there's 35. And there's 35. And I think 35 is good. There we go. And now I'm going to do the other side with the torque wrench. This is probably the, the worst part, actually. Getting these to fit. Hopefully I'm in the video. Okay. Without being having this on a lift, and I know it's getting dark outside. We're almost done. Get my bearings. Okay, so what you have to do is you have to come and pull the exhaust out of the rubber hanger in the back and move that out so you can slip these two pieces together because this is, and I'm assuming all the way forward. Let me see. Yeah, I'm guessing. Okay. So, you gotta come back to the back of the car. The hardest part, get in and out under the car. All right, then you gotta, it's already none of these brackets back in, so we gotta be able to move this portion of the exhaust back, and hopefully, because it's attached there, hopefully I can get this done. Let me, let me make it some more WD-40 on this part. Let me maneuver this out now. Uh. Uh. 
may need to take this, this bracket back off. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take these bolts back off. The rubber mounts is this has to has to free float a lot more than what's what's happening. So take note. My bigger wrench on this because those are pretty tight. I'm gonna put my uh, jack back under this muffler. Alright, let's see. Getting really, really dark outside. Loosen these up. Definitely don't want to tear up those hangers. All right, there's one. Let me go to the other side. Just to wrap this video up before it gets too long, um, I have installed, as you've seen, the exhaust on the car and, and it's really, really good. I'm really enjoying it. I have a lot of positive things to say and go into a lot of detail, but I don't want to add this to this video because it's going to get really long and people these days don't have a long uh, attention span. So um, I'm just going to break this up into another video and I can kind of go more into detail and add those, uh, the, uh, the runs that I did, the zero to 30, the zero to 60 uh, runs and put a little bit more information in there and uh, give you all a little bit more inter entertainment value and uh, give you some more information. So with that said, um, thanks for looking at my video. I appreciate it. Uh, give me a thumbs up, like it, share it if, um, if it's helpful to you and you want someone else to see it. But again, thank you. And uh, man, I enjoy everyone that is... Uh, Appreciate everyone that has subscribed so far. You know, I'm getting close to that 1,000 mark. And when you get to 1,000, um, then you will be advertised more and you monetize. And so your video gets out to more, advertised to more people or just shown to more people. And then they can view on it, uh, click on it and view more videos. So um, yeah, so good things in the future. So thanks to everyone and have a great day and look for the next video here shortly. Thanks.